All right, here's the deal, okay? Our great Reverend Jasper has brought it to our attention that this city council is trying to take our rights away. All right. This is an empty statement from an empty government bureau that does not have the right to rule this goddamn state. There's a city council in the first place. Why they're making rules for the whole of Polito, or the whole of uh, Los Santos, San Andreas, is beyond me. And to see these people carry on this horrible policy that they enacted last night, they're using the excuse that they're so incompetent it took them five months to enforce the law as a reason that they get to enforce it. I say it takes you five months to enforce the law. You don't get the right to make them. You shouldn't be anywhere near a law that takes that long. No reason for a law to take that long to go into action. And no reason to punish the good people of San Andreas with this ineffective government installed by God. Damn mob boss who had to resign in disgrace. That's all I got to say about that. We need elections immediately, and I'm real, real happy they granted them, that they allowed us to have them. Yeah, that was that was mighty kind of them. But that is himself. not their goddamn authority to give up. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody for showing up. I know that uh, sure. this is kind of short notice, and you know it's a holiday and everything, so uh, it's been you know. Everybody's been pretty busy and stuff, but uh, there was a lot of a lot of things said today on social media and stuff, and we just wanted to address some things and you know kind of clear the air a little bit. Um, the main number one thing to announce today is that there is an upcoming mayoral election. The plan is to open up uh, for people to declare their candidacy here, probably this weekend and we'll leave that open for a couple of days um after which there will be about a week for folks to campaign uh and then proper elections following that uh so hopefully that'll you know get things sorted with uh, us not having a mayor or a vice mayor at the moment um it's been a real struggle you know i've been I've been fighting to kind of get that taken care of for a while now. And there's a lot of things that go into this. There's a lot of, um, for the state to certify the election and things like that. Things that are really actually above what we can do on city council. Uh, but it seems like everybody's on board with it now. And, uh, so that should happen very, very soon. Uh, like I said, uh, Yo, you guys for the people who are, who are just coming up now, uh, should be this weekend is what we're looking at for opening up people to announce their candidacy which will be over a period of a couple of days so everybody has a chance to do so uh there will be then a week for folks to campaign and then we'll hold the election um more things to address uh there were no new laws created regarding hunting fishing or any of that stuff these are all things that were already put in place several months ago. In fact, before my tenure here uh, at uh, City Council, like five months ago, I think, that these, these things were made into law. Um, however, they have not, at, up to this point, been enforced. That was a policy decision made because it was not possible uh, for people to go fishing and not catch orca um and things like that but now people can go fishing and choose not to harvest orca choose not to har harvest tiger shark and stuff like that and so since you have the option to not do that we are now going to start enforcing that policy uh, oh! and uh, enforcing oh! that law. Oh! it's really it's really not even up to us on city council i oh, mean boy. i would hope that i would hope that you all were aware you. that orca are a federally a protected endangered species I can't make it legal to fish orca. You'd have to talk to the federal government about that. Danger. There's um, no and that's actually how a lot of things get government. handed down to us is uh, these are things that are, you know, actually hmm? come down from federal or state hmm? level. And then we just have to decide how to implement course. it as far as uh, <laughs> the, you know, when we talk about, you know, we have a little bit of a leeway where we can talk about, oh, what should a fine like this look at like? What kind of jail time should this look like? But when it actually comes down to whether or not fishing orca is legal, that's not up to us. That's that's federal government, right? All right. Um, as for uh, 
Cougar, uh, it is absolutely, totally, 100% legal and advised. If you feel like your threat oh, safety is being I threatened by a cougar out in the wild, the you shoot that cat, okay? We don't want people getting hurt, okay? I think his claws are uh, And Isn't the, that the only abuse? thing is is that you shouldn't be harvesting to give him high help, he eat my claws, <laughs> teeth, or anything yeah. from the cougar's body. Uh, those things are all illegal to be in possession of. And the reason for that is just to discourage people from going out of their way to hunt cougar. Uh, it is a protected species, uh, and we're going to actually start enforcing that. But this is all old policy. This is months and months ago that this stuff was hashed out. Um, so with all of that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, open it up to... If anybody has any questions, I, hopefully I can answer them. Um, if not, I can take them back to the rest of the city council and we'll talk about things. But, uh, you know, if you've got a question, uh, let's go ahead and, and clear the air here. I'm sorry. I thought this was America. Yeah. Is it still America? I thought yeah, we were going to want to, want to maul my neck. Why, I think why this are we protecting predators? I, I should not hey, uh, uh, Who's keeping the cougars from harvesting us? Uh, I mean, point. you you are free to protect yourself from the cougars just like you always have. You are just not Best supposed to be going out and offense. intentionally looking yeah. for them to kill them. Take them out. Hell yeah, brother. It is it's America. It, it is America, and and it is the law in America that some species are Football's protected. Coming home. Uh, in fact, there's a lot of things that, you know, yeah, like, we could even, if we protected. wanted to, we could have a, a hunting season on some of the other things, you know, like, you can't harvest more. Protect border cougars, but you know, protect the Americans. Oh, so we don't so do they're, that. They're typical, threatening to take uh, more federal away from us. We aren't good for taking this Protect the things that hurt the All hail the city right. council. Well, so if you, hey, uh, thank you for what you if you have an issue with, you know, not being able to fish for orca, I do encourage you to go talk to the governor about that. I uh, encourage you to take a hike. Go talk to uh, go talk to the president, or you know your state senators or somebody. Talk to the governor but that's, or the but that's not us. Go we talk to the Constitution. I got a question. What's that? What are you doing tonight? That's <laughs> oh. <laughs> in um, poor taste. <laughs> all right, next question. God damn it! Hey, at least he's got game. <laughs> he tried, Repeat he your tried. question. I didn't hear that. Repeat your question. He said, "What are you doing tonight?" Oh. Alright. Um, okay, Cougars, so... what about you? Great question. Is Nando considered I'll be driving a my cougar? Forklift. Be Is honest. Nando considered a cougar? Um, I have been attacked you, by like 30 Cougars. Cougars. At this point, I am Cougar. Only to me. <laughs> um, Alright, so uh, if there aren't any more questions, I do have one last announcement. And uh, that is that I resign the my seat on city council effective immediately. Thank you all for your time. That they are allowing the police to search us without a warrant just by fishing. That Amen. is not only illegal, but the city council has yet to hold a re-election after the last mayor had stepped down, Tony DeLuca, after he stepped down, there is a law in process that they have to follow where the LSDAO is supposed to appoint an interim mayor and they're supposed to immediately hold a re-election and they have failed to do so for over a month. We will be protesting until this action is done and taken care of. We will be here at City Hall until dinner time and then after dinner we'll be back and we will protest. And lunch, and lunch, brother, preach. And, and lunch, yeah, mm -hmm. and lunch. And we will be here until they stop this steal. We're here at City Council. We here have Stan. Stan, can you give me your opinion on what the City Council is doing with this supposedly new law that they're bringing? Um, from what I've understood is uh, in the dark of night, they decided that they want a certain number of fish and cougar claws for some reason to be... Uh, contraband and illegal. Um, I find it extremely odd for that to have not been the case for as long as it has. And as soon as somebody has an issue with fishing and hobby, they decide to ram down a law, you know, down their throats here. Okay. So, are you are you going to be considering running for mayor to hopefully change some of these laws? 
Absolutely. I, I plan to run for mayor to instill, you know, common sense laws and, you know, make sure we're not being trampled on by our government. Okay. Now, I'm sure that the government is watching this. Do you have any words of wisdom for them? Um, you know, it's about time to clean house.